I say scone. I say scone as well. Posh, you two are posh. Oh, posh. I, I, I think scones posh. I think that scones posh. Really? Yeah. There is a debate here. And how do you eat it? Do you put the cream on first or the jam? Uh, I put a very little bit of jam and loads of cream. <laughs> yeah. I would put the cream on first. Would you? But some people, I've seen some people, maybe this is controversial as well, <laughs> instead, instead of cut, instead of halving it and yeah. putting the jam on the inside of both yeah. halves, some people just put the jam and cream right on the top of the full scone. No. That's, yeah, they do. That's yeah. so weird. It's weird, isn't it? You have to have tea, though. You have to have a cup of tea with it, right? Have a nice cup of tea. Oakworth! This is Oakworth! Well, I'd like to welcome you all to Oakworth. Your makeup looks flawless, by the way. Oh, Sorry, I don't. Are you wearing makeup? You're not, are you? Well, the fact that the fact that you can't tell that I'm wearing makeup means oh. that means that she's done a very good job. I need to be meeting your makeup <laughs> artist. It was so much joy. Did you enjoy it? Oh yeah, we loved it, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, a brilliant time. It was amazing being up in Yorkshire and all the beautiful scenery up there. But I mean, like John was saying, it was so exciting, but quite a lot of pressure to make sure it was good, you know? My God, it's, it's really good. But you know what was interesting is if you haven't watched the original, I think it's a standalone film and a lot of people will yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah I think, I think that, that, was, that was really important. That a lot of the references to the original, I think Danny's script and Morgan's direction, they've made them quite subtle. They're not sledgehammer and, and they won't alienate people that haven't seen the original. And yeah. I think that, because you know, it's 50 years ago and this is a kid's movie. You can't, you can't guarantee that the, our audience will have seen the original, but hopefully it'll, we can reverse engineer it and Revisit it. see in this will make them watch the original afterwards. Maybe. Okay, so the kids told me the mud falling down bit was just supposed to be you. And then they all started falling down with you. What was that like? <laughs> it was brilliant. What Morgan, the director did, what he did did a lot of improvisation so things were just quite chaotic and um, yeah I think that was right at the end of the day we had one go at it because obviously I didn't have another costume to get muddy and yeah I fall on my bum and then they all pile on top of me but it's a, it was a lovely moment actually it was my first day as well so like yeah we instantly kind of had a bond. Jenny, bit of a ledge. What was she like? Because she seems so poised and so well put together. What was she like behind the scenes? She's got a filthy mouth on her. No, she, no, she, no, 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 she hasn't. It's an honour and it's, it's so important that she's here because we worry that we are taking some liberties and who do we think we are to remake this and make, well, or not yeah. remake, but do, do an update to this amazing film. But as soon as Jenny was on board, we knew that it was in good hands. She's, yeah. like, she's like the sort of custodian of the Railway Children yeah. brand. So having her was just an enormous seal of approval and we can't, we can't go wrong. As soon as she blessed us with our presence, we knew we were onto a winner. I want to ask you about this lady and embarrass her a bit. I think she's absolutely awesome. You both are, but she rocks. No, you are. You've done some amazing work. You're one of our best. What is she like to vibe with? Because we adore her. She's amazing. Well, I adore her as well. I've, I've never had the pleasure of working with Sheridan before, but I've, I've, I've known her for a while. And she's just one of those people whose, whose presence in a project is a real seal of quality. There are very few people actually in this country who will attract an audience to a project just because of the fact that they're in it. Yeah. Because, because, because they know, people know that the work is going to be good and, and, and they know that it's, it's, it's a very rare that you get a, a, a performer with that connection to their audience. And Sheridan's, Sheridan has her own fan base and her own audience that will follow her anywhere and watch anything she does. And there's not many people who can command that kind of respect and that affection from the no, public. Right. And you were at the Sky event and everyone was waiting for you to arrive, I remember. My, and I want to ask you as well, um, you're privated on Instagram, so we can't see what you're getting up to. Do you know what, I'm not actually posting at the minute, so I just thought, what's the point of, because I'm not, I'm kind of off social media at the minute, I'm just having a little break. But how are you, because we love you and you don't do tons and tons of interviews, we just get to enjoy the work. How is life for you? Are you happy? Are you in a good place? I am, I've got my beautiful little boy Billy and I'm very happy, so thank you. Makeup, guys. <laughs> Action. We need to go. It's now or never. You've got to be joking. You want to get on that train, don't you? Go, go, go! This is as fast as it goes. It's a tractor. Now. Stop! You can make a difference. There's always hope. Friends are special. They're with us, side by side. 